That's nicely played into the gap and through the offside field. That's a lovely shot. Imran Nazir onto the back foot and, uh, well, when he hits them, he certainly hits them hard. Yes, Imran has been timing the ball uh, rather nicely. Not getting the results. He's been out there now for 32 balls. But this one was uh, beautifully timed and also placed very well off the back foot. Heading it down. A lovely stroke off the back foot. Well, that's well fielded. Yes, uh, the South Africans create this uh, little... In the air, wide of the short extra cover, and well, it's into the boundary. Four runs. Again, beautiful timing. All that went in the air, but was uh, struck quite beautifully by Imran Nazir. Who's uh, looking in a very good shape here. Putting it on the rise, uh, Antini. First delivery in the air, but away from that shot covers fielder. No chance. Straight down the ground, lovely shot, beautifully played. Imran Nazir is a lovely striker of the ball. And that was a good example of what he's capable of. Anything up, I think he's decided now he's going to hit through. And there's good footwork uh, being shown there by the youngster Imran Nazir. Very positive in his approach. Hitting through the line this time and uh, also very intelligent stroke. How's that? That's a big hit. One bounce over the boundary line. Once again, Imran Nazir hitting through the line. As he hit nice and straight there, gave Elworthy a bit of a charge. But really, uh, the good thing about that shot was the fact that he hit straight. Very good follow through. Long follow. Oh, that's a tremendous blow. That's a superb shot from Imran Nazir. Got into position so quickly. Picked the length up quickly too. And he's given that one some hammer. Well, I think that also uh, answers my question, Ravi, about the pull shot. Uh, I said he'll have to learn it. I think I now found out that he can play it all right. These two youngsters doing a pretty good job. You're going to have to increase the run rate, though. Oh, what a good shot. That's a big six. Oh, yes. It's a beauty. Way, way down the ground. Into the private boxes. And, well, he paid a lot of money for his ticket, the bloke down there, but he can't catch. You're right, he wouldn't have won the prize in Australia. They have a prize for the spectator. It takes a good catch. And the man in the corporate box has put it down, and that's a beautiful strike. That's uh, the half century for Imran Nazir. Brings up uh, his 51. A good effort from him as well. There's an example of a good youngster. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a big hit. That's into the stands as well. Boy, there's some good timing going on out there. Up go the arms of the umpire. That one's gone sailing away into the stands. My word. An injured lion is a dangerous lion. He just stood there and gave it the full go. Look at that. One it is. Nanty Hayward on his way to Imran Nazir. Oh, that struck very well. Slower ball from Hayward. He picked it early. Very good batting, very sensible batting uh, from Imran Nazir. A slow delivery and was picked up quickly. Went to the boundary in a flash. Again, striking the ball straight. Good uh, front strike forward. Nice extension of the hands and arms. struck it well and it's straight down the throat of Gary Kirsten if he can hang on to it now he's toppled over the rope and it's been given keep six up, and uh, this was his fourth six Gary Kirsten uh, actually judged it perfectly 
but in the end he couldn't stop from toppling over the rope yes uh, not entirely in control lost his balance and uh, there was a case of uh, maybe his shoe touching the boundary rope threw it in the air uh, back onto the field before going down he was given a six was uh, quite beautifully hit once again uh, by Imran Nazir off balance Kirsten just sending the ball back into the into play before toppling over and uh, there the signal coming from the umpire it was a six it was very good judgment by Kirsten yeah. he knew that he was going to have a bit of trouble he got back to the rope he knew he was back as far as he could go and then uh, in the end he had to throw He's starting to gain uh, some momentum and gone so Lance Klusner has uh, brought an end to Imran Nazir's innings a very good one it was yes uh, very good innings from Imran Nazir playing some lovely strokes deceived this time by uh, Lance Klusner a slow delivery and a gap being created between bat and the pad getting uh, applause from the crowd here it's been a lovely innings it's gone for 71 and Pakistan lose their second wicket for 129 Imran Nazir out for 71 and uh, I should correct uh, what I said earlier on the a signal was made for six but apparently that has now been changed and in fact no runs were recorded for that shot of uh, Imran Nazir's big shout there and Mohan Khan has been given out first ball so Lance Klusner is on a hat trick a sharp in swing fuller in length and uh, Mohan Khan deceived uh, on the pace of that delivery as well it was quicker Earlier, uh, Klusner had picked up Imran Nazir with a slow delivery. And you can see the red zone. And it looked a pretty good uh, decision in the end. Didn't bounce. He's gone here. He's flicked it straight to the man in the circle. Fine leg was up. Klusner will count himself a little lucky there. He drifted on to middle end leg. The shot was on, but unfortunately for Yunus Khan, he couldn't keep it down. So another wicket goes down here and South Africa right back in it and on top. Eunice Khan, he'd be really very unlucky with this one. Lance Klusner realises he, he has got a lucky wicket here. He slotted it down the leg side. He tried to flick it over the man who's in the circle over his head and all he got to, to do was flick it straight to El whether he took a neat catch. And that's a big blow for Pakistan because he needed to accelerate. 142 for four. Finger goes up here. Klusner is on a roll at the moment. And once again, not a great delivery to get a wicket. In Zamam goes. And Pakistan now in trouble. They've lost half their side. Still just under 10 overs remaining. Well, this is another one. Lance Klusner, he's having all his luck in this particular game. This is not a good delivery. You don't teach anybody to bowl these. It would have been wided. And Inzimam just feathering that straight to the keeper. How unlucky can you get? Well, I suppose if you're the bowler, how lucky can you get? 145 for five. So eight wickets down for 196. So um, there we are, the Pakistan batting card. Now, um, Nazir played very well for his 71. Just uh, two for 43.